We're fortunate living in Northwest Indiana that there are lots of nearby opportunities for everyone to enjoy a whole range of water sports. In Michigan City, the Parks and Recreation Department wants to make sure that no citizen is excluded. Earlier this month, it opened the first ADA compliant canoe and kayak launch in the state, a key component in a mission to make all city parks accessible to everyone. The city of Michigan City has been quite aggressive over the last three years in making our facilities, especially our park and rec facilities, not only ADA compliant, but also inclusive to um, children with different disabilities, whether it's learning disabilities or physical disabilities. Hanson Park was our first completely ADA accessible playground. So when the Paddling Association brought this idea to us, it was just a natural fit to make the rest of the park ADA compliant. I was always excluded from uh, any kind of physical or sport activity. So I always thought that that's not for me. Uh, how could I do that? I just the thought of being in the river, or going paddling, you know, how would I manage that? I saw what was possible just to get so close to the water, to get right and then be able to hold and get right in a, a boat, a kayak. So it's like, so that was the beginning. So I was like, wow, I could actually do this. It's uh, taken about three years total since we started from concept to actually being in place here. This is the first fully ADA compliant canoe and kayak launch in Indiana. Really, uh, it's really exciting because Northwest Indiana is really on the forefront of something that we're hoping will take off throughout the state of Indiana. Uh, you know, for, for disabled paddlers, this is huge. Um, for also people who are, uh, you know, senior citizens who might not have an, such an easy time of launching from like a, you know, a sand beach or a muddy bank, this is great for that. The whole purpose and mission of our park department is to provide recreational opportunities for our citizens and visitors. So it's important that we have um, in particular, this kayak launch. There aren't other areas in the region that offer this. Being out here is so liberating, feeling that, getting the sense of freedom that I can do it. So this is really my first that I can begin to embrace and feel passionate about. Paddling is a great sport. It's, it's on the rise in our area. So this was a very important project that benefits a lot of people. We were really hoping this would inspire others and Really happy to report that we've got two of them that are actually uh, in the works right now and the third what's really close. Uh, when we did our dedication, somebody said it really well. His name was Joe Moriarty and he said water is really the great equalizer. There's not many other medias around where somebody who uh, in a wheelchair can be eye to eye and just as uh, able-bodied as somebody who's uh, you know, can walk and bipedal. People's disabilities pretty much disappear because they can uh, um, get out there and experience it just like anybody else. I'm just so excited for the, the people, the community, for the children that could benefit from this activity, for the elderly, for the seniors, for everyone. All of us that have been limited, have some kind of limited mobility that we can take advantage of right in our community. And we just, I'm just so grateful and appreciative. 